In this web design tutorial we're going to take a look at the way that a lot of web designers are handling forms which accept an uploaded file or an image. The way that a lot of these, uh, yeah. a lot of people are designing pages hey, is yeah. with yeah. a uh, what appears to be a text field there. and then there's a browse button there's and an image upload button. And as I click on the text uh, field, you can see that it opens up an interface. La -di -da. But if I click on browse, the exact same thing happens. So, we have redundant functionality. Now, uh, supposing that someone does upload a file, uh, they uh, pick what file they're going to upload, right? And then uh, cool. finally uh, the purpose question, of uh, the text file or the text field becomes uh, known. It gives users the ability to see, oh okay, well this is the file that I just selected. But wait a minute. They just made their choice. Obviously they will remember it. That means that this field is not necessary. The only thing we need is a browse button and an upload button. However, we don't even need the upload button I either because that can be triggered right now, right when you make a selection. Done. Trigger it now. Submit. There's no need to click on upload. So if you uh, eliminate this and you eliminate this, you can have a one button input form. And this is the way that things should be done. Is you simply have a button. Upload a file. Upload an image. Okay. Somebody can click on that. They see this. They make their selection. They submit it. And then uh, after submission instead of showing them a uh, thumbnail of their file. Just show them the file name. That's good enough. Just the file name. And then of course in the event that they made a mistake uh, give them the ability to delete that. So everything they upload uh, just goes into a table like this and they can delete if they want. So uh, the next time that you visit a website and you're about to upload a file if you see something like this it's obvious okay. and you know that right, well, the you, web designer uh, uh, was not very thoughtful about uh, the user process. Like think about this. If I'm a completely new user, I've never uploaded a file on any website before, I don't know if I should click here or if I should click on browse. I make my selection. Okay, I made my selection. I'm done. No, I'm not done. I had to click on upload. Did something tell me I had to click on upload? No, nothing told me I needed to click on upload. Confusion. As far as the appropriate time to show somebody a thumbnail, uh, that would be in the event that someone is sending a file and your website is going to process that image and the image may be changed uh, through uh, resizing or uh, some other kind of change. Uh, it gives somebody a preview. So unless an image is actually being changed, there's no reason to show a thumbnail. It's much better to just show the file name. If someone, you know, they just picked it. They know what their image looks like. If they need to double check, they'll double click. That is simplified web design.